Hey y'all, what's going on? Um, today is Sunday. I know I usually come in on Saturdays, but I just got my computer back today. I had 71 viruses and six were very serious. So yeah, I'm real mad about that. So I went to the Geek Squad. I hate calling them the Geek Squad, but anyway, I, had, I went to the Geek Squad. They had it Wednesday. I just got it back this morning. So now I'm back in action, you guys. So let's start with what's going to happen this week. Monday, Billy is confronted about his decision to let Phyllis go. Jack wants to take Jabot from Ashley. On Tuesday, Genevieve and Tucker's passionate history has an impact on present times. Jeffrey tries to prove he is not a bigamist. On Wednesday, Chelsea questions her parents' intentions. Abby and Kyle throw a pool party. I always thought that was a pool party, right? Thursday, um, inflammatory video of Nick is revealed. Citizens of Genoa City are intrigued by T Dr. Tim's disappearance. On Friday, um, Chelsea tells Sharon to stay away from Adam. Christine thinks, pop, uh, thinks Phyllis hurt Dr. Tim. So that's what's going to happen um, on next week for the week of the 30th, um, the following week. Unable to convince Nikki to put a halt to her upcoming wedding to Jack, Vic Victor seeks revenge. The return of Dr. Tim has a devastating effect on Phyllis's case. Abby tries to make amends for the kidnapping hoax. A guilt-written Paul makes a shocking decision. And Ashley makes a decision about her future. So that's what's going to happen um, coming up. Uh, that's about it. Uh, what happened last week that was really major? Um, Chelsea and Adam got married. And Sharon tries to interrupt. Nobody wants her. So now she's trying to get back with everybody she used to be with. She just started stealing again. And um, Victor told, you know, Nikki, you still kind of want to be with her. And. That's all went on with that. Phyllis got arrested because the evidence came out and she didn't want to stay in jail, but they kind of forced her to stay that way. Michael's like, all this going on now that I'm DA and it happens to have, be happening to all my friends. Uh, Ashley called it a quits with Tucker. I don't know if I told you guys that last week or not, but I can't remember from uh, my computer being taken away. Um... Let's see what else happened. Let's see what else happened last week. Victor, I mean, um, Victor caught Sharon in the lie. She said she was going to tell Noah about what happened with um. Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. I was reading something, they said something about Victor, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to let y'all know and then I'm going to do some research to see how true it is. But anyway, um, she told uh, Victor, Sharon told Victor that she was going to New York to tell Noah what was going on with Phyllis, but really she found out where Adam and them were getting married, which was at his mom's estate up there in uh, wherever she's from and uh kansas and uh you know so he went up there sharon found out she went up there trying to tell him that he know he still love her and he should marry chelsea and he told her her, her other thing or two he was like no i love chelsea more than anything she's my best friend and you know I, i'll always have a place for you in my heart but i love her more than i love you and so she was just like done after that so victor called to try to find out where sharon was and found out where she wasn't where she was supposed to be and he popped up at the ranch and uh, the state or the farm or wherever she say and um they had a little talk or whatever and you know I guess they just agreed to disagree I don't know what's gonna come of their relationship he's like she's like you you and Nikki are always back and forth back and forth you know why can't I be that way with somebody and he was like what me and Nikki have we have children together we have a history together it's just different you know so that's pretty much what happened with that um Paul is still devastated, even still didn't remember anything, and I think that's pretty much all that really went on last week, nothing else spectacular, you know, but what I want to tell y'all is I'm reading on this site, and like I said, I'm not sure how true it will be, or how true it is, but it says, word has it that Victor, who is, whose real name is Eric Braden, may or may not leave wine or the talk is that he has resigned with the show. 
So it's just I'll find out more information before I say that that's official because I don't think Victor's gonna leave. But you know who knows? But he's kind of the show. So if Victor leaves, I don't know if I'm gonna watch him the rest of it anymore. But anywho, that's it and that's all you guys for next week. And I'll try to get back with you with a midweek review or to see what's going on. Um, one day last week I was watching it and they interrupted with something that was going on in the news and another day we had bad weather in our area and so they just did like an extended forecast news show so they didn't show it. So a lot of women went on this week and I wasn't able to just give you guys a midweek review or come in and update you on anything. So I'll try to get that done this week. Um, I want to give my condolences to everyone that passed away in um, out of town in Colorado that was a very sad thing that happened and I just I don't know so um, that was really sad and got people leery about going to the movies or whatever but he, he was caught so that was a good thing but it's just a lot into it and that's not what this is about but I did want to give my condolences to the people that passed away and those that were shot and are in critical condition or are still injured um, to the families that have to undergo all the changes that are going to go on with these people in their lives and it was really sad that that happened and it happened on Friday so um Tomorrow, the guy is supposed to go before the judge, and they say he's really not participating or answering any questions or saying why he did this or what it was about. So, um, we shall see what comes of that. But I'm not a news forecaster. The basis of this video is just these videos of why and are, but I did want to sometimes I'll throw a little social thing in every now and then, a little what's happening in the news, and that just I feel really bad for those people. They just went to enjoy their time with their families and there were young kids there. The youngest person to die was a six year old girl. And I think the oldest was maybe fifty six or sixty five or something like that. Between fifties and sixties, so that was really a lot. So um thank you guys for watching and I'll see you this later this week. Alright.